distinction between the two. We often encounter both force and friction in our daily life, yet we fail to connect those two. But what is this friction force? By definition, friction is the interlocking between two rough surfaces when they come in contact. Friction is very essential in our everyday life. For example, it helps us to light the mastics, to write and even to walk. So that brings us to our current experiment that is the magic of friction. You can see those two books, right? Looks normal. We'll wait for the magic to happen. I will take these two books and interlock it their pages. Like this. Now, I have already prepared a sample of it. And I would like to call two volunteers to come try to pull these apart. As you can see, they are trying all their strength to pull these two copies apart. But they won't come out. What is causing this? Let's see another experiment. You can see that we have these copies here which are bind by the same interlocking as we use to bind them. Now we will try to add even more weight to see if they come out. Flawless. This might be causing you what is this force of friction that is holding them. The force of friction is dependent upon the coefficient of friction and normal reaction. We have increased those two, the coefficient of friction by using the same surface and the normal reaction as when we try to pull these two copies apart, the pages push on to each other increasing the normal reaction which causes the force of friction to increase. You have seen such massive and powerful power of the friction. We can use it in many applications in daily life, like for hidden compartments, book bindings, as when most of our pages come down, especially in library, this can be very, very helpful. Also for arts, decoration, and hanging things that are much more heavier for a normal hanger to hang on. This brings us to the end of our experiment. Thank you for watching.